Welcome to the Pro Wrestling Potluck. Welcome to our special episode where I am shamelessly, shamelessly trying to get my YouTube numbers up. My name is Scotland Green. I am the host of this thing. Every Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, we go live and we do the damn thing. Uh, this is going to be a crazy one. I'm very excited. I got a lot of suggestions uh, from people. Here's the background. I do this show on Twitch every Thursday. And then I put it up on YouTube along with other clips and things. And uh, my YouTube, pretty stagnant for a long time, I, I, uh, I'll admit. And then, late last year, <gasps> my YouTube was going great. The numbers rising. Oh, my goodness. Everything was, was getting a, a look, and it was very nice. And then... Boom, down into the toilet bowl my youtube has gone and part of it's my fault i'm not consistent got to be consistent that's that's a big part of it uh other stuff hmm, i don't know we'll have to figure that out but i'm also trying to cheat yes i'm trying to cheat by uh by the subject matter that we use tonight in this show and uh i and i got a lot of good suggestions on specific videos to play or just like hey this is popular minecraft is popular makeup tutorials are popular and i went <laughs> so we got a fun one we got a and return of the buzzbin match god damn it i've had these gimmick episodes haven't been able to, to dig into the buzz bin so buzz bin always gets views so to the buzz bin we will go um what else? What else? Oh my god. It's here. It's here. I've gotten cards and letters saying, please don't. Please don't do this. I am going to take the hot chip challenge near the end of the program. Very close to the end of the program because I don't want to ruin the rest of the program by crying. Uh, and, and vomiting. So this will be uh, later on tonight. It's going to be something. I don't know if I'm a uh, if I'm a hot uh, person in that way. So this might be the very last time I am seen. Uh, also, ring announcer stories. Last weekend, American Dream Mall, big show, fun show, good stories. This is going to be a fun one. Uh, I'm definitely not doing it now. I'm doing it later. Uh, ring announcer stories uh, about the halfway point of the show, and. Also, ooh, ooh, of course, we cannot do it without the largest frozen mug in the world. It's here. It's here. And turn the music down. It's time. It's time for Potluck ASMR. I have a new Mountain Dew Mystic Punch. It's gamer fuel. It has this devil lady on it. Shit is purple as fuck. Second hand. And there you go. That's our potluck ASMR. And here's this Mountain Dew Mystic Punch Gamer Fuel with this devil lady who I've named Melinda. Ooh, this is weird. This is uh, weird wild junk. Holy cow. This must be the purple stuff. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm going to be in trouble. <laughs> I'm going to be in trouble tonight. Uh, uh, two of these purple drinks uh, are purple stuff, and uh, the hottest chip on the planet, says the, the people who make it. I don't know. Oh, well. Can't go back now. Can't go back now. Um, oh, yes! And I forgot. I have gotten advice from influencers. Advice on my YouTube channel. Motivation from YouTube influencers. In fact, 
the most affordable influencers on Cameo. That's who I got. So we'll hear what they have to say. I haven't watched these videos yet, so this is going to be fun. I got three good ones, maybe four if it arrives during the show. But uh, there you go. And without any more malarkey and baloney, let's get to it. All right. We'll see. Uh, this will check one of our YouTube boxes. And it is not God Ugly Tattoos. So coming out first, this is Deadly Damon Lay. I like how there's people that, they get tables. They get to watch and uh, watch the show and have a, a surface to put their drink on. That's beautiful. <laughs> Not that Tom Green in the house. Get in the chat if you're watching live. The chat is where it's at. Very welcoming chat. Uh, I highlight uh, uh, things in the chat that are informative or make me laugh. Um, yeah, get in there. Join the fun. It is sports edutainment. There's a British Noli. <laughs> All right. His opponent checking off our biggest box. <laughs> Everybody said, you got to have cats. You got to put cats on the YouTube episode. Everybody loves cats. Get some cats. Cats. So here's the cats. Here is a cat. Hey, Dave in Syracuse. Thanks for... Uh, Gifting a sub to Brian. Appreciate it. The combination of this with the FMW alarm will be in my nightmares. Yes, yeah, so we're checking the cat box. We're also checking the furry box. Today is National Be Kind to Your Cat Day. Oh my God. We are doing it. This is, this is it. We're brewing up a great one. And I almost forgot later in the show, probably sooner than later, honestly, uh, I have the updated brackets of our gimmick gauntlet. Brand new gimmicks or gimmicks that have barely been done or haven't been done right. The, vote, the first round of voting is done. All right, Mr. Cat. Ooh, Mr. Cat with the spear. Throwing paws at uh, Deadly Damon. Ooh, scratch in the back. Another scratch. They can barely. <laughs> Not that Tom Green says there's no way they can do a scramble in that ring. They can barely do a match in that ring. Now, Mr. Cat, God bless him. No judgment. Um, Mr. Cat. Probably could have a better name. Oh, my God. So he's one of those cats that likes to climb. Ooh. Ooh. And likes to jump. Chris, that is a very good question. He asks, how often does your show and your work run in your mind? Are you dreaming of ideas or thinking of this while you are nowhere near home? Yes. Especially when I'm driving. That's when I really have... Uh, weird ideas and this is a show idea that I sat on for months and months and months and uh, You know, I'm building all these things at the same time and then it's like oh, it's time to do this Mr. Cat playing with the yarn <laughs> Chicken chicken versus a cat I 
I need a napkin for this uh, condensation on the world's largest frozen mug. Ref is wearing gloves. Does he know something we don't? Ooh, Mr. Cat hits hard. They could have found a better name than Mr. Cat. That's a little basic, basic bangle. It's got that orange cat in him, though. It's orange cats. Ladder. Oh, this show is definitely driving me insane. And when I started this show, the, 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 this is sh a shoot. The thing I said when I started the show is I want the people closest to me to worry <laughs> that something has gone wrong in my brain. Oh my God, I got the, I got the, the fourth cameo. Ooh, I got it. I'm gonna have to set that up. Ooh. <laughs> Not that Tom Green got me with that. They should have done a tables, ladders, and laser pointers match. Now, I hope you're following Not That Tom Green and watching him on Tuesday nights, WCW Deep Cuts. I was there this Tuesday. It was a damn blast. Watching late, late era WCW, the dregs. It's fun stuff. Good crew. This cat can work. Figure four. How can you... If you can't get to the ropes in this ring, you are in trouble. If you can't, if you can't get to the ropes in this ring, you are Kemenito. <laughs> oh yeah, Mr. Cat must stank. Oh, look at this. Cat toy, the feathers. Mr. Cat can't help himself. Oh, dirty trick by Deadly Damon Lay. Lee? Lay? I'm no cheat. I'm a serious professional athlete. Ref being very lenient. a sellout at the door. I think the boys are watching this one. Mr. Cat, Mr. Cat. Oh, what is this? I think it's about to be animal cruelty. Ooh. <laughs> you can hear one guy in the crowd laughing like, ha, ha, ha. that's why you do it. Oh, look at this. They're setting up a table. This is the kind of table grandma's got in the basement. This is a kid's table. Nobody who sits at that table is happy. <laughs> card table, grandma's card table. All right, is Damon setting up his own spot here?
This is very close to the tables, ladders, and laser pointer match that Tom was talking about. It's a tables, ladders, and uh, feather toy, but damn, that's close. Ooh, face first to the ladder. Mr. Cat. Two. You can't pin them yet. Their table's still standing. Mr. Cat playing to the crowd, playing to his fans. Got that step stool. Ooh. <laughs> oh my God, right in the whiskers. Going to the merch table. Mr. Cat sells cat toys, I guess. Oh no. Mr. Cat can't help himself. It's a box. I think my cats are about to run in here. <laughs> I can't believe we're starting with this. <laughs> Number one, Gunkle. What is that? Oh, cat food. That's bad cat food. Uh, if you give your cat that food, you don't love your cat. Give your cat wet food. Give your cat wet food. Your cat deserves to eat good wet food. Give them, you know, dry food every now and again. Sure. But if your cat is just eating dry food you better help him out give him some wet food brother oh no don't do it mr. cat mr. cat don't do it <laughs> what happened <laughs> look at this fool <laughs> I don't know this man, but I will say he has one of the worst tattoos. <laughs> Referee, get out of the way, Mr. Cat. A baby cat, a kitten. <laughs> what is going on? Choke slam. Two. Oh my God! I can't believe he kicked out of the cat choke slam. <laughs> Worst tattoos is a very low bar in wrestling. That. That's a rad to sad. Wrestling tattoos, rad to sad. I think this is British. Razor Jim. Oh, no, there will be no kittens for Mr. Cat. Yeah, the Harris Brothers. <laughs> I don't know how to have worse tattoos than the Harris Brothers. Oh, Mr. Cat loses. I can't believe Mr. Cat lost. Oh, hey, that's a kitten there, you jerk. I can't believe Mr. Cat lost. And his kitten is dead. Referee checking on the kitten. Mr. Cat. So sad. So sad.
All right, here we go. One of the uh, one of the subjects that is very popular on YouTube: makeup tutorials. And here we go. Here's a makeup tutorial from Gold Dust, Dustin Rhodes, the Natural. He works very fast. <laughs> <laughs> Nicer to the cat than Teddy Hart. Yeah, is Teddy Hart in jail? Can someone check? He's in jail, right? That guy drugs his cat, doesn't he? I don't know. He's It's like the least of uh, his crimes. Yeah, I would totally screw this up. I'd like to see a version of this, like, um... Like that show where people try to make, uh, food, like, uh, fancy food and, and, and bake goods and it all looks like shit. I want to see someone <laughs> do, like, shitty version of these face paints. There you go. That's how you do it, folks. Now, this was sent in by Dr. Liam, Crimson Mask Replica, on Instagram. Uh, the fabulous follow. We need Great Khali if we want to have success on YouTube. कभी सोचता था मैं अगर मैं औरों की तरह होता पर मेरी माँ कहती थी नहीं बेटे तू स्पेशल है और ऐसा ही चलता रहा अपने आप को मैं हेल्पलेस फील करता था फिर एक दिन मौसी ने बताया अंगूर जैसे मिक्स है घर बना लो उसके बाद पता चला not like you're getting it. Oh god. Now it's loud. Virat compressive strength. Ambuja cement. All right. Another subject that is very popular on YouTube that I was told is very popular on YouTube. Pranks. Pranks, you know these awful pranks that people do? Well, WWE got into the prank business with their awful show, Swerved. And let's see a clip from Swerved. Hi, Samantha here on the red carpet getting ready to do some interviews. Wow. Darren Young here. Hey, how are you? Darren, nice to meet you. Cool. Oh, I'm doing great. I'm so happy to be here at the Hall of Fame. It's going to be off the hook. That microphone smells like Oh, sorry. <laughs> it smells like. <laughs> I, I smell the microphone. <laughs> Can you smell the this microphone? is totally a Vince thing. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's excitement really messes with the senses. Oh, yeah. no. Stop this microphone. You don't smell anything. Are you okay? Uh, I'm perfectly fine. I'm perfectly fine, but the microphone smells like. <laughs> dog. Hey, how are you feeling this evening? <laughs> this how are you is. Feeling tonight? How are you feeling tonight? Is it cheating? No, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't know what that, what that is. Of I know, course they want to do shoot well, shit. Hi, Stand for the entertainment. How are you? How are you doing? How are you feeling tonight? I'm feeling very good. Your hands are cold. Oh, I'm so sorry. My hands are cold. How are you doing? What's going on? How are you doing? How do you feel about She's like trying to put it in their mouths. Joker. Okay. This is a joke. Watch. I'm sorry? Yeah, Hacksaw yeah. doesn't deserve this. Sorry. Maybe oh, a couple no, of these people it. might oh, deserve it. it. How do you feel about this? Oh, I, I, I feel great. Yeah, it's kind of like... Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Here, yeah. Let me, how do you guys feel about yeah. it? Oh, no, don't do that. No, no? Okay. It's the wrestlers. Look, look, you guys should be tough, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, thank you so much for All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, all right. Um... Oh, I didn't want to watch this. Uh, 
you know what? You know what we'll talk about right now? The tournament. The gimmick gauntlet. Brand new gimmicks suggested by you, the viewer, and Instagram people, and uh, people in the YouTube comments, and everything else. Um, let's get to this tournament. Here we go. The first round is over. And now, let's get a closer look. Some of these, I will argue, the people were, were wrong. Candlestick Maker was defeated by Baker, and I am pissed. I wanted Candlestick Maker to win. Yeah, yeah. But next up, we're getting Baker versus Doorman. And Disgraced Vitamin Salesman beat the Blind Wrestler. Can you imagine? And he will face off against the Magician. Another thing where I think the people got it wrong. I think Comedian would be a way better gimmick. We might have seen Magician before. Next, Mama's Family. Mama from Mama's Family advances against the heartbroken man. A man who was broken up with before each and every match. Uh, Podiatrist beats the, the, the fella inspired by the seven deadly sins. And he will face his biggest challenge when he goes against the most popular wrestler in the gimmick gauntlet, the divorced dad that wants to impress his kids. And on the other side of the bracket, we got the bird watcher advancing. Frogman the animal will be his next opponent. The telemarketer got past the wrestler with OCD and he'll face the disgraced assemblyman, which a crooked crook will advance and finally in this last quadrant the mover has beaten the big baby and the mime has defeated the statue it will be mover versus mime this is where you got it wrong voters the voters sometimes get it wrong statue statue is the superior gimmick statue anyway uh, the Toxic Gamer advanced and will face one of my favorites, Bernie, from Weekend at Bernie's. So that's our, um, that's our tournament. That's our tournament, the Gimmick Gauntlet 2024. Uh, I, I, I put, um, you know, I, the voting was done on Instagram in my stories. The next round will also be done on Instagram in my stories. Uh, I'll probably set it up tomorrow. I'm not doing it tonight. I'll probably be sick after I eat that chip. Um, I got a lot of messages, though, as I was putting up these these uh, these brackets and the, the matches for voting. People would say, hey, wait a second. This wrestler is kind of like this. Isn't this kind of like this? Isn't that just kind of like kind of kind of kind of? No, it's not. This isn't, uh, yeah, the, the, the similar, probably, but these are brand new gimmicks. All right, so that's that. Um, ba -ba 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 oh. No, this isn't what I want to go to. I want to go to this. We've talked about it. My YouTube in the gutter, in the toilet. So I have gotten cameos. From the most affordable influencers on Cameo. And I think we're going to do this in ascending order. This first Cameo I got for $1. This is uh, Muscle Man. Uh, let me see what his name is. Muscle Man 8562 is giving me advice. I have not watched any of these videos. I watched the first 10 seconds just to see how they work. Um, so here we go. Giving me YouTube advice. We have Muscle Man 8562. Take it away, Muscle Man. Hello, Scotland slash Mr. Green Mist. The YouTube channel is called Mr. Green Mist. I looked it up. I subscribed to you, so now you got 331 subs. And I checked every channel. Now you should put up more, um... Wrestling con well like uh, matches, wrestling matches be uh, 
Just be careful of the copyright stuff they got on there. You know, they can just take down your account without you even knowing about it. Don't I know it? I mean, you you will know about it because they'll tell you. You won't be able to log into it, whatever, but it just takes patience, man. Just be patient. Not every video is not going to do what you think it's going to do, get thousands and thousands of views, but... Be patient with it. I, I I had to be patient with mine. It didn't come easy overnight. Nothing does. I've been doing this sure. for years, man. But uh, just be patient. Just keep putting up the videos. The more videos you put out, the better. Yeah, it can take time for the algorithm to catch it. You know, I mean, it's funny. It's a funny place. <laughs> it's a funny place. I ain't got no alcohol right now. I've got fucking vapes. Okay. Yeah, I've got vape. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take a big ass hit for you, man. It's always <laughs> nice to meet a fellow YouTuber. Got it. Shug it. Anus engine. Everybody subscribe to Mr. Green Mist. Please. If you haven't already. Thank you. So th Muscle Man 8562. Oh, shit. This is my motivational cameo. <coughs> it was clogged up. Had to get unclogged. <laughs> once you get to for this. a thousand people, I'll help you on getting monetized and everything. Let's keep putting out the videos. You know, encourage you people to subscribe to your channel if you can. Yeah. That also helps as well. Don't ever quit, though. Don't <clears throat> ever quit. Thank you. What you like to do. You know? It's just, uh, let's look at it as like a ladder. You gotta climb up the ladder. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm still climbing up the ladder. I'm never near where I want to be yet. My next goal is 100K. Wow. Subscribers. You know I mean? I'd like to get to Got it. Chug and What's that? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Green. If you in my head. questions, just let me know, brother. You need some inspiration? Yes. I'm your guy. I'm nothing like the muscle, man. To inspire somebody to gut it. Chug it, answer it. Look at that shit, bro. And until next time, Scotland, aka Mr. Green Mist. Keep on gutting it, keep on chugging it, and keep on singing it, brother. Till next time, have a good day. Sing it. In the future, everything will be simple. With just a look and a thought, anything can be yours. Looking further. Deeper. Longer. Into the buzz. All right, this was sent in by ATL Blood Feast, my buzz plug. This is from Pro Wrestling Noah uh, 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 last month, catching up with the buzz. First team is already injured. Alright, I gotta download this next cameo. I just got it. Three dollar cameo. We're building.
Drew McIntyre is very funny. Jack Morris, a Scott. I must root for the Scott. So I am I am pleased that we're back in the buzz bin. I miss the buzz. Muscle Man was a uh, buzz is an understatement, I think. Yeah, we might have Muscle Man back on the show. Who knows? I, it, it makes me want to uh, do a potluck match game. He would be great. Or potluck Hollywood Squares. All right. Dragon Bane and Alpha Wolf Brothers. Alpha Wolf, the world's largest junior heavyweight. Always love these guys. Alright, I have to attach this uh, next cameo. <laughs> Muscle man to play wrestler or vape. I mean, I could just go back to the original wrestler or weed train. I think Muscle man would be great. Mr. About for the block. Mr. Bla uh, I, I am doing the interview with Mr. About in a couple days. I'm sorry, everybody. Our schedules are on opposite ends of the universe. Man, I haven't watched Pro Wrestling Noah in a long time. Alpha Wolf. Gets out of that one. GLG, the good looking guys. Ooh, nice. Alpha Wolf is dope. Yeah, the green canvas is awesome. さあ、アルファウルフ、デイとともに2019年12月に発売日。おっさあ、ここはチャンピオンのレンジ。ドラゴンが翻弄されてしまいました。お得意のポーズ、ジャックモリスです。ジュニアの動きなんて簡単にでき
Whoa! Like a damn cannonball. Call the breeders. Alpha Wolf, the world's largest junior heavyweight. <laughs> I need to follow Muscle Man back. Whoa. Oh, hey, there's a chance that Muscle Man 8562 uh, is watching this on YouTube right now. And if I, if he is, hello and thank you, Muscle Man. <laughs> you gotta be hitting the vape fan pretty hard to cough like that. The brothers. Oh, Dragon Bane goes out. Anthony Green hits the ropes and gets kicked. Nice forward roll. Ooh. Alpha Wolf dunked. Dragon Bane thrown on top of his brother. Eight, five, six, two, eight, five, six, two. Oh my god, Anthony Green, maybe uh, not do that. He's lucky. Bounced off him like a, a bullet on Superman's nutsack. Oh, Jack Morris! <laughs> Drew McIntyre. <laughs> Suzanne Hulk really nailed that one. Drew McIntyre. <laughs> yeah, Muscleman8562 is on the right side of history. Uh, <laughs> Diamond Mike is not. Ooh, elbow hitting. So we'll do some ring announcer stories after this. They're good. Good ones. Dragon Bane uh, had a hard time getting to the corner on that one. Double team maneuver from the good looking guys. Face first. Two. Oh, this purple stuff is kind of not good. It's just so purple. All I taste is purple. やっぱ一つね、隣にずっと居続けてくれたパートナーですね。そういう絆もありますよね。ね。まあ、チャンピオンのグリーンとモリスは共に1993年生まれの30歳。同い年のタッグです。そういった意味でも心配しよう。お互
Anthony Green is one of those people that looks completely different from different angles and looks totally different in photo than he does in, in video. For some reason, I don't know why. Tag back into Jack Morris. Jack Morris sounds like somebody from the Scottish uh, Say by the Bell. Hey, 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 what is going on here? Jack! Drop kick to the face of Green, who's back up already. Not selling that at all. Passes him off to Jack. Ooh, Dragon Bane gets out. The boys collide. The good looking guys. Hop, skip, jump. Ooh, Matrix. Scratch. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! <laughs> a wolf looking scary, looking real scary. Not looking like a wolf at all. Oh, it looks like a uh, clown. Looks like wolf clown. Alpha clown. Ooh! Alpha clown, now there's a gimmick. Ooh. I like when wrestlers hold hands to execute their moves. The brothers standing tall, the good looking guys on the outside. Wolf Clown. <laughs> yeah. Maybe next year's gimmick gauntlet, Wolf Clown, will be involved. <laughs> Write it down. Ooh. Oh, nice! Nice double team maneuver. Dragon Bane landing on his feet. Wolf Clown Posse. I'd join that. The gathering of the uh, Wolf Clowns. <laughs> ドラゴンベイが見せました。もう何メートルという高さから飛んでいきました。やっぱりよ、一望立ちにしております。キャリア14年で24歳と言いますから、もう10歳の頃からこの戦い、この輪に上がってきたということになります。ドラゴンベイ
Here comes Green. Kick to the face. Both men are down. Green's holding his mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the, you, you know, you take the mask off those brothers, they're way better looking than the good looking guys. The good looking guys, that's a heel gimmick. Ooh, misses. Misses. Oh my god. We're part of fan club. I'm competing against Marty Gennetti's live podcast. I feel great. I will crush Marty Gennetti like a fucking bug. Two! Oh my god, interesting maneuver! Two! Dragon Bane! Anthony Green not letting go. Yeah, we got Muscle Man 8562. I didn't even have to look at it this time. We got uh, cameos. We got more cameos coming. Three more cameos. Don't give up, Dragon Bane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Marty and Muscle Man would get along famously. <laughs> is uh is uh Marty Gennetti eating a hot chip and putting his health at risk? No, he's doing a two chip town. Damn you, Gennetti! Looks like I'm the Gennetti on Thursday night streaming. <laughs> Ooh, whoa! Holy cow! Caught by Green. Ooh, Jack Norris. Jack going for a Styles Clash. Probably not anyone can do it now. Two, Dragon Bane gets out of it. I must eat the chip. I must. It is my destiny. It will build my YouTube channel. It will elevate my status in the internet wrestling community. <laughs> Jack Morris planted. Ooh, Alpha Wolf flying. Ooh, nobody home. No sheets on the bed on that one. Anthony Green with the suplex. Oh, holding on to the Alpha Wolf. Sits out with it. Ooh, Dragon Bane gets out. Well, Parker Fan Club, I'm so mad that I know what you're talking about with the yarn doll, the yarn doll uh, drama. I'm mad that I know I get that reference and I'm upset about it. <laughs> Anthony Green to the outside. There you go, Alpha Wolf. He's he's a baby face. Maybe when the the good-looking guys were being baby faces, it was like an ironic thing. The brothers planning something. Oh, wow. <laughs> we are sick. Whoa, just casually leaping over the ring post. The world's largest junior heavyweight. He's got a beard on his mask, folks. Good 
斉藤選手、すごい試合になってますよ。いや、すごすぎますね。<笑>想像を超えてますね。皆さんお互いのこうチームの落ち合いが出てますよね。そうですね。エントニー、おお、スーパーキック、ジャックス、ジャー、ジャー、ジャー、マスクビアード。おお、キックとジェリー。おお、キックとジェリー。おお、キックとジェリー。おお、キックとジェリー。おお、キックとジェリー。おお、キックとジェリー。おお、キックとジェリー。おお、キックとジェリー。I love when people have earrings on their masks. Oh! Oh my god, he yelled F U before that. Dragon Bane getting in position slowly. Green holding his head. Another swear. Wow, Jack Morris! Ooh! <laughs> Referee not counting. Is, is nobody legal? Or are they not? Oh, these are the legal men. This is great. Ooh, get! Ooh, dos, 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 dos! Dragon Bane at the top, stopped by Anthony Green. 20 minutes gone. Time flies, folks. Time flies. Tell your people you love them. Jack Morris. Oh, oh my god! Alpha Wolf, more like Alpha Ram. That damn headbutt. Coming back. Whoa. Oh my god! Well, I think that stops Anthony Green. Putting his own body on the line. Dragon Bane at the top rope now. Which move will he do? New champs? Oh, knees up. Jack Morris, Drew Wackentire. Oh, reversal! Wow, 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 wow. Jesus. Jack. Sits out with it. Good looking guy. Congratulations to the good looking guys. I'm not going to Philly. I'm not booked. I'm not booked. If I was booked, I'd go. Although I did think of uh, a good merch table idea. I would sell water. I would sell bottle of water, bottles of water to the boys and weed. That's my merch table. All right, another makeup tutorial, popular on YouTube, the makeup tutorial, and this is one from the Stinger. Every athlete, you know, talks about being in that zone, and uh, I won't say that I'm in the zone as I'm painting my face, uh, but it is part of the preparation. It's part of me becoming me, me becoming Sting, and. Um, 
Looks like it's on top of the Pulling urinal. Feet out there in front of the crowd, and you can hear the electricity, the, the the noise, all the pyro, the music, the fans, and just the TV cameras, the hot lights coming from above. I mean, you know, I talk about my the red blood cells pumping through my veins, and it works. You know, I say it's showtime, folks. You do. And I'm preparing. I'm preparing and getting ready from the moment <laughs> that I walk in and begin to paint, start painting my face. It's it's right then that it's that showtime starts. There you go. All right, here we go. A uh, a big uh, thing are unboxing videos, right? So here's an unboxing video. Tommy Rich is out there. Here's an unboxing from Georgia Championship Wrestling. Uh, yeah, HOG is doing a joint show. I'm not on it, but, uh, you know, not yet. If they book me, I will go. But I'm not just going to go. I don't have any money. I'm, I'm too poor. Too poor for mania. to come out and see me, so I thought I might come see them. That's Ray Stevens and uh, somebody else whose name escapes me. Listen, I knew it all along. You couldn't find anybody with enough guts to be your partner, brother. You probably got that a little midget in there. Yeah, I might have a midget in there. Why don't you check it out and see? <laughs> Thor Kamata is the bald guy. Thank you, Dr. Liam. Crimson Mask Replica on Instagram. It's Dirty Dick Slater in the box. The, the Dirty Dick unboxing. And thank you, Dr. Liam, for sending this in. I found a shorter version of this, and he helped me out finding a true version of this unboxing. Dick in a box. Thank you, Dr. Liam. A dirty dick in a box. Hey, baby. Nobody hurts my man. Tommy Rich looks insane. I'm going to make somebody look like the South End of a Northbound Mule. And if I don't whip somebody, I'm going to let everybody, I'm going to let everybody know me. I'm going to bend over, I'm going to let everybody in the army kick me right flat square in the hiney. All right. <laughs> okay. You know wow. What did I tell you? I told you that I was going to go out and get the most unpredictable, controversial man in the country. You know, but me and this guy, we've been to the bars and chased women <laughs> together. We've done a little bit of everything together. Gordon. We've done a little I bit of everything together. All I had to do was go get Dick and Slater. Christmas came early to this weekend. Yeah, yeah lightning's gonna strike. Had me a big well, I got close to the army. I got close to the army, baby. We're coming to fight. Yeah. Make your plans to be there. <laughs> I do have the same shirt on. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, I've got another cameo to watch. My YouTube sinking, sinking ship. Save my YouTube. I have, uh, I have gotten advice from the most affordable influencers on Cameo. We already saw Muscle Man eight five six two, the one dollar offering. Now, folks. It's time to go to a three dollar offering. Um, oh, hold on, I'm not gonna be able to hear this. Uh, I have to do something while it plays. Now, here for a three dollar bit of advice, here's Boozled. Hey, Mr. Green Mist, it's Boozled here. Yeah, baby. Now, me saying yeah, baby, it's not really my catchphrase when I'm um, well, actually recording a YouTube video, it is my catchphrase on Cameo. I just like doing that to hype myself up. Um, and I heard that you are an aspiring 
an aspiring YouTuber. Yes. And that you're looking for advice and tips and you're, you know, on how to like grow your YouTube channel. Yes. And, um, you know, you're kind of looking for your catchphrase right now. Yes. I would say, you know, it's really hard to make one, I would say. This is, yeah, baby. Like, if you're Jack Septica, you could say top of the morning, right? And if you're PewDiePie, you could say, how's it going, bros? It's PewDiePie. Okay. You don't necessarily need one, but if you do want one, it'll be cool for your diehard fans. Yes. Um, But it's not necessary to grow your channel. In terms of growing your channel, you do need to look at, like, like, okay. So, like, I heard that your channel has been growing. Yes. But then, it like, it stopped yeah. during the last, like, after three months of growth, right? So... Look at those three months of growth and figure out what did you do that was successful and why was it successful, you know? Like, so let's say, for example, when I had, good, like, buddy. when I was, like, taking YouTube more seriously, I uploaded some of Among Us videos and those were, like, blowing up. And you have to think about it. Why was it successful? Or what is successful? The Among Us videos. Why was it successful? Because the timing of it was during COVID and my, Among Us was blowing up. And uh, two, it was just a funny video. Yeah, and um, people ha- watched it for a long time. The thumbnail was pretty good. It had a lot of click-through rate. Oh, my God. That. This video is so long. You have long. to figure out what is it that gets <laughs> the audience old. to click. What is your channel about? Are you a gaming Stop channel? Rest. No. Then if you upload like a vlog, people are not going to watch that. That's not what I subscribe for. If I subscribe to a gaming channel and they all of a sudden they're doing cooking videos – Get out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. Um, so, like, if you're a variety, like, channel, that might be why you're not growing anymore. Is because maybe you did something that a lot of people subscribe to, and then all of a sudden you changed um, your content, and now it's different. It could be it. That could be one of the reasons. Another reason could be it's just, like, maybe um, you're doing the same thing over and over and over again. Yep. Mr. Beast, he kept doing this thing where he was doing – one dollar like one dollar boat versus a billion dollar boat for example right and um i listened to a podcast that he was in and he said that he's gonna like stop doing that even though it's still like successful same thing with like him donating like a hundred thousand dollars to a streamer he did that trend like a few years ago and everyone guess how doing, long you know? this cameo but is please in the that, chat like, hey, guess how long this cameo eventually, is people are not gonna like that kind of content anymore i gotta find something new that people will like look for new trends that he can do and uh, try to be as entertaining as possible he's not gonna stay in one thing now if you're a niche channel let's say um <laughs> let's say you only do cooking videos on like exquisite not like exotic things like if you only cook snake or something you kind you're kind of stuck at that point, but you could branch out and do other recipes. But if you do things all of a sudden, Brian is say, right. You, all of a sudden, you um, you do like exercise videos. That's kind of weird, yo. Like, <laughs> so like I don't know what your channel is about, but it's about uh, wrestling. Try to stick to that, you know, general topic. So if you're mm. so an education have, like, channel, uh, you do math problems. Cats stick and... to the math problems. I'm sorry, but that's what you made your channel. Like that's what you revolved your channel around. You have and that's to watch the whole thing. I'm sorry. Subscribe to your channel for, and that's probably what you need to make your content on. Now, if let's say let's look at the thumbnail real quick. If you look at your thumbnail and you say, like, if you make sure that the thumbnail is something that you would click on, right? Would you click on that thumbnail if you didn't own that channel and you didn't know who that person is? Like, let's say that person is a complete stranger and they had the same thumbnail as you. Same title, same everything. Would you click on that video? Yeah, he's not, in an you empty gotta change room. it, man. Make it more clickable. Then make it so good that you would want to click it if you didn't know that that was like you. <laughs> if, that, if, that, if that makes sense. No, it um, doesn't. Same thing it's like when you're watching your content. Like, is there like a whole minute of you doing nothing and sitting there? Cut that out. Cut that out. Make it so that you would want to watch it as well, you know? Um, and that way, making the videos would be more fun for you because you're going to enjoy the end product so thank you work on that um i am just taking just think about like i don't know how big you are right i'm not the biggest youtuber thank you uh mr beast can probably give you more tips than i can but look at (laughs) you know like if something is blowing up it didn't blow up for no reason like i mean there's there's still luck involved in the algorithm but 
there's still some part of the video where you can analyze and look at, well, what what did people like? YouTube literally has a thing where it says most replayed, you know, and you can see what part that people enjoyed the most. And you can also see which part where people clicked off. So you can analyze that, look at, you know, uh, what part of the video they didn't like. And next time you could just cut that part out. So let's say, let's say <laughs> uh, people don't like when you explain stuff. Like if you're doing they like a challenge video and in the middle of the challenge, you're trying to explain some obscure rule, right? Well, maybe people don't like that. And that's and then that's the part they skip or just click off. He sent me a video. Well, maybe next time have a the part where you just you just have the rules displayed right there and people can pause. I people can Mr. pause and read it themselves. And then you know, uh, let's say you just you just skip the explaining part. Like you you don't explain in the middle of the video. You explain at the beginning, and then that's it. Maybe that's what gets people to continue watching. Because yeah. some people might be like, he is no muscle man. Why are you explaining it again? Something like that, you know? Or let's say, for example, there's another part of the video. 90 really seconds love. left in this you video. Know, maybe, maybe uh, let's say you're let's do another cooking <laughs> video, right? And you started a fire. You don't want to, you probably don't want to cut that part out. That's probably the entertaining part. You started a fire and people are just I'm not that a over cooking over over. channel, well, boozled. You, you have the next video and you started a fire, but then you cut that part out before you uploaded it, you just got rid of the best part. You just got rid of the best yeah, part. I need to put fireworks so, yeah. in the middle of um, this video. Also, when it comes to your personality, yes, um, you could try to be fake if you want to. Okay. Some people can tell. It's kind of draining if you're being fake. I would try to be yourself. Mm. And that's the part where you've got to do something that you actually enjoy, and that would bring out your more authentic personality. Yes. So, uh, yeah, those are my I tips. I think I'm pretty authentic on love. this thing. Find out what's trending. Figure out what part of your past videos worked and what part didn't. So much spit. And build on that. You won't improve unless you keep making videos, and every video you make, you can make some micro adjustments, and eventually you have you'll have the greatest left. video of all time. You know, always improve. Make the your newest video better than the last. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, um, if you like to watch your videos, then maybe it's good. Um, so yeah, personalize it, make it unique. Catchphrases are not super necessary, but if you want one, you can have one. Trying and, to get um, the cat away from my. Computer. Be the best person they can possibly be. Enjoy. Thank you, Boozled. Oh, wait. Hey, Mr. Green Mist. It's Boozled here. Yeah, baby! Okay, I just had to listen to the yeah, baby again. Uh, okay, um, let's do a little bit more. Another makeup tutorial. <laughs> this time, Jeff Hardy doing his thing. All right, I have my catchphrase. It will be, hey, baby. Take that, boozled. music really bad such as professional wrestling All right. so i asked him one of the crucial questions the mask replica facing on our Instagram, nation today dr liam in the what chat sent this one in it's opening day on the baseball, baseball planet team. nine positions nine position all-star team well let's put the claw at first base the baron uh i think we'd have to put uh the hulkster out in left field Hulkamania. I think we have to put Ivan Putsky behind the plate for the fact that Ivan can't move around too much. Uh, he's a little, little stocky. I think Bobby Heenan would probably have to be the manager. Smartest man in wrestling. Definitely is. And could be one of the smartest men in baseball if he, if he got into the game of baseball. They don't call a guy the brain for nothing. Exactly. Exactly. I'm a, I'm a uh, Mad Dog Bashan fan from way back. Uh, he definitely would have to play someplace, maybe a second baseman. I think he could probably be able to turn it over real well. Uh, we put the Warriors at the, on the base pass as far as coaching concerned. Maybe we'll put one at uh, third, one at first. Uh, at shortstop, maybe one of the fabulous ones would play short. I don't know which one. They, you know, they could switch. They're always doing a big switch move. Maybe they could switch once in a while during the game. Center fielder, they have to have somebody with some speed. Uh, what about the Superfly? 
Superfly would be good. He can he can dive. He can do some serious diving. Maybe put Andre the Giant on right Straight field. up murderer. Doesn't cover much ground. No. But uh, good wingspan. He has a definitely a good arm. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure he can throw the ball if he can get it out of his hand. <laughs> Wouldn't have to use a glove either. <laughs> Here's Herbeck's Minnesota teammate, Dave Engel. A lot of people think. All right. Another, th this is the YouTube episode. Uh, and I got, I got, uh, uh, I believe, ATL Bloodfeast said, Minecraft is very popular on YouTube. So here's a Minecraft video. My sword is shot. I'm all out of arrows. Uh, what else do you got? Come on, crafting table. Perfect, um, crafting table. No, come <laughs> on. That, just stand back. Is it broken? I don't know. <laughs> what? <coughs> These guys have diamond armor. Build a folding chair. Build a folding chair. Whoa. Off the ropes, Minecraft Cena, through the table. Five knuckle shuffle on the zombie. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> What's he oh, doing? He do you know it's all fake, right? Boo. Look at him go. All right, I'll be right back. All right, we're back, and it's time for ring announcer stories. So last weekend. I, uh, I'm the American Coliseum Wrestling ring announcer and general manager. And we had our big show, Rock Out, Brawl Out, at the American Dream Mall. It was huge. It was a spectacular uh, show. It was great. Uh, I had a fun time, believe it or not. And um, where's my notes? Where are my notes? Um, ba -ba -ba, da -da 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 yes. At the beginning of the show, before the show had started, we're in the middle of the mall. There's three floors, people looking down, gathering ready. There's a live band that's two bands played, one before, one after. I went up to the promoter, and I asked him if there was anything different than the call sheet that I needed to know about. Any changes that I needed to make in my notes. And I... The promoter told me the best sentence that I have heard since I started working in independent wrestling. The promoter told me this. He said, the Pokemon guy who sings the Pokemon song is going to sing the Pokemon song after the national anthem. 
and I said, uh, okay. <laughs> the, po uh, the Pokemon song will be sung before the show after the national anthem. That's all I knew. And I went around and I told uh, everybody, I told all the boys, I said, this is the, the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. Um, so then I'm, you know, show starting. I'm, I, I, I have to find this Pokemon guy. I see a grown man, a weird man dressed in Ash from Pokemon cosplay. And I said, are you the Pokemon guy? And he goes, oh, no. Oh, no, the Pokemon guy's over there. And it was next to where we were. There was, a like, a, a signing of all kinds of uh, people that have been in sci-fi things and uh, people who sing Pokemon songs and people who just want to sell Funko Pops and and comics. And, uh, and so this was the Pokemon guy who... Uh, there, there he is. His name is Jason Page. He is the original Pokemon singer, and uh, he was there. I got my picture with him, and uh, let's see some of his, uh, some of his. Uh, 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 he's in a bunch of commercials. He's the guy who does Subway Eat Fresh. And so he was singing the Pokemon song. And, folks, standing in... Oh, excuse me, I forgot this uh, detail. As I'm getting him from his signing table, bringing him over, he asked me, is it okay if I m start at the stage and make my way to the ring and sing in the ring? And I made an executive decision, and I said, yes. Yes, that's okay, Jason Page, the Pokemon guy. And now, let's see the video that I have. Show you your car, right here. Is Mike okay? You got a better one? Yeah. So, but you turn your car. So, his mic stinks, and I have to go run him my mic. He has, he is throwing out custom trading cards, Pokemon-style cards with Jason Page on them. Watch how he throws these cards like fucking Gambit. And these old trading cards are the, are the voice of a generation because of the national anthem that we all know. I'm gonna he is calling the Pokemon song the national anthem, which is something I said. That national anthem is always as famous as some of my other jingles. I am also the voice of a generation because of Southern Eastern. That's right. All right. Here we go. I want to hear everybody singing along. And I will send these cards out to you. Let's do it. Let's do it. I want to be the very best, like no one ever was. I'm standing in the ring for this. Here's the third one. Very short. All right, so there you go. There's my Jason Page videos. And I for almost forgot this detail. Right before he sings, right before Jason Page, the Pokemon singer, is he's, he's about to go on stage, a weird man comes up to me, an unaffiliated weird man, and he says, um, uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, original singer of the Dragon Ball Z theme is also here 
if you need him for anything. And I was like, um, I think we're good. I think we're good. Because <laughs> then what? Then, then I got to give the Inuyasha guy his time? I don't think so. <laughs> so that was uh, a blast. That was the funniest thing that's, that's ever happened to me in, in this pro wrestling game. Uh, what else happened on this show? Uh, uh, Maven was there, which I did not know about. Bull James is booked uh, in a match, and accompanying Bull James to the ring was Maven, and I did not know that until he walked through the curtain, and I had a little, uh, whoa, it's Maven. Maven playing the bad guy. They both made fun of my tracksuit. And then Maven zipped my track jacket all the way up to my chin and gave me a little slap on the face. Maven, he laid a hand on me. And uh, I said that into the mic afterwards, after he left, of course. I said, he laid a hand on me, which is a, a quote from Peter Tork on the Monkey's Movie Head. One of my favorite movies, Head, the Monkey's Movie, check it out. Maven, a YouTuber. I should have asked him for advice. Um... What else? Uh, oh, this is fun. So I had to read the list of sponsors about three times in the night. Uh, uh, contractually, I had to um, read these sponsors. And, uh, you know, one of them a donut place, one of them a gym. And then this one. Uh, I have a picture of it somewhere. Where is this picture? Uh, no, 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 no. Here it is. It's next to the... It's called Click One. Q-L-I-Q-1. And it's a free speech arena. Uh, I ran out of red flags when I, uh, said that. Holy <laughs> fucking cow. Uh, Click One. Free speech arena. That's that makes uh, that makes all the warning uh, bells go off in my head. Uh, so yeah, the show was sponsored by Click One. Uh, I believe Click One also sponsored January sixth. Uh, <laughs> what else? Oh, late in the show because I was out there the whole time. I, I I you know I found out way too late that there was food for the boys. There was, of course, water for the boys. Thank you, American Coliseum Wrestling and the American Dream Mall for giving waters to the boys. And I didn't have to open my merch table to do it. Uh, and Coca-Colas and Coke products. And Mr. Beast Burgers. YouTuber Mr. Beast has a burger chain. And I knew it. I said, there's not going to be a burger for me by the time this show's over. And there was not. And I was upset that I didn't get a Mr. Beast burger, so I did the next best thing. I took home five cans of Coca-Cola Classic. And uh, that is that. One last thing. I was so mad at myself at the end of this show. I was very upset with myself because there was a band playing right after the wrestling. And I had to, um, I had to introduce the band. And... There's a thing, when I used to do stand-up a lot, uh, there was a phenomenon that would happen where a band would have to follow a stand-up show. And the stand-up show would always go long, and the band would be standing on the side waiting, to, waiting for the show to finish. They would be angry, and I would be hosting and having a good time. And I'd always do this bit that I really wish I would have done there. I would have said, hey, at the end of this comedy show, I'd say, Hey, everybody, stick around for the band. My buddy's the band. They promised to let me sing Margaritaville with them, and I forgot to do it. Uh-oh, the cat's crying. He's got his toy. Okay, well, that, that's the end of that. Uh, I will be right back. Made this.
this thumbnail has 1.5 million views. Can you break down this thumbnail for us? For sure. This was inspired by a thumbnail I made about six months ago. I think it's from Game of Thrones. He's like climbing like an ice mountain. So this okay, is a yeah. person who makes thumbnails. I'm trying to get some thumbnail good. thoughts. He was wearing the red coat already, and I yeah. knew that we would have it on the ice wall. Red and blue are very good contrasting colors. Ooh. Something I noticed with a lot of these big YouTubers and a lot of the thumbnail designs, they're typically in the middle of doing something, and there's an action happening action makes you intrigued you know it looks like a frame from the video where he's actually climbing this ice mountain and this makes you very intrigued and makes you think this is what you are actually going to see in the video one thing i really love about you lie. this thumbnail is it's very simple yeah i think simplifying is a big thing obviously you don't want too many colors but i also don't think there's any rule of less colors is better mr beast for example in his circle videos there's probably six mr. seven beast. different colors in that thumbnail but it still works very well it's a great thumbnail we're gonna go to the next one great which is thumbnail. thumbnail look at that ugly thumbnail what is that good AM. it's called i ordered 10,000 Amazon packages. If I just look at that title, I would be like, how am I going to design a thumbnail for this? But you landed on this one. There's still a lot going on, but somehow the eyes are just led straight to Iraq. What's going on in this thumbnail that you can't hear the this? eyes are kind of drawn to where you want them to go? Yeah, so this thumbnail, you could break it down into three main elements. We have the background with the house and the trees and the sky, and the trees really give scale to the mountain of packages. The lines of the pathway lead directly towards Iraq. Mm. And I also think that all the packages are kind of noisy, and then the middle of it is just clear, and there's no Thank distraction you. from all the now packages. Now, am I? Uh, do I need I to be louder? Or am I a, a list good, of all uh, these uh, old uh, thumbnails? Uh, you level? made new ones, and there's some major differences. Recreating your thumbnails is a newer trend that people are just now starting to pick up on, and they can really make your videos pop off again especially if you think the video is good. What I plan to do with these right. was just to make Maybe everything I'll look redo a lot all more my old thumbnails because he is eating super spicy food. These thumbnails are a very good example I'll be breathing of fire contrast in the and why it matters so much. For most of these, I had a darker background on very bright, oversaturated food. It makes everything in the foreground stand out a lot more. You want to see these people go through this pain and see their reaction to all these crazy foods that they're eating. You would think with someone eating spicy food that the thumbnail would show them like drooling at the mouth. But something I've kind of learned, sometimes it's better to not show that reaction first because the viewer actually wants to click and see the reaction. If you get someone to click on the video and you don't already spoil the reaction, it makes the people stay for the entire video until he has his reaction. I love all this tip, Dylan. <laughs> if you guys actually want to see a video on titles, click on the screen, check that out. Thanks so much for being here. All right. YouTube viewer Henrik sent this one in for opening day for you baseball heads. There will be no World Series this year. In an era where promises are often broken. Hey, kid. Macho Man? Let's hit a few. One federation and its superstars still believe in making dreams come true. They don't have the a union. They could never go on strike. Our season never ends. Our season never ends. We abuse the boys. What is this? Oh! I'm picking it. It is anti-union propaganda. Dr. Liam, you nailed it. This was sent in by the Suzanimal. Uh, a very popular thing on YouTube are cute animals. So here's a match involving a panda bear. Giant panda. How's the level on this one? Am I loud enough? Am I too loud? Are they too loud? Please help me. The giant panda with the engine in his ass that we love so much. After this, we'll do another cameo. I have two more cameos. Andreza, giant panda. Levels are good, thank you. I'm always taking submissions, you know? This was sent to me a long time ago by the Suzanimal. I held on to it until a suitable time. Good call, Dr. Liam. Andre the Giant's music. Let's 
あそのぐらいのことがやってくれるんでしょうかねいやでもこれ動きも本当のアンドルド・ザイトみたいに動きしてますねそうですよ動きがね、えー、近いでしょはいどうどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするどうするなしますよどうぞ。群馬県。ジャイアントパンダ後ろ見ないと後ろ。来てるジャイアントパンダ我々の実況席を見てますよ。我々の実況席見てる。後ろ来てるぞ。また後ろから出す。Oh, kick to the back of the giant panda does nothing. 後ろからのキックを全く聞きませんね。全く聞いてない。全く,聞いてない全くおっとこれで振り返った。振り返るだけでパンチが飛んできました裏剣。早くもですね、2人の間で戦いが始まりました。I have no idea. ンルということで、ポケモンこのリング上に上がったところでしまいます。これはね、はい、あのー、やっぱ試合でね、リードとして、ミュージックを使って、ミュージックを使って、ミュージックを使って、ミュージックを使って、ミュージックを使って、ミュージックを使って、ミュージックを使って、ミュージックを使って、ミュージックを使って、ミュージックを使って、ミュージックを使って、ミュージックを使って、ミュージックを使って、ミュージックを使って、ミュージックを使って、ミュージックレフェリー危ないです。Poke Main is a Twitch streamer. What's his catchphrase? Oh my God! What is this? Look at the beautiful ramp to the, to the ring. Now this, he's eating the ropes. Loose ropes. レフェリー、ウェイレフェリーまで今、攻撃を加えられた2つ、早い、準備が動く、Is this something from Kaiju Big Battle? This looks very Kaiju Big Battle. これ落ちたら負けか、そう、I'm going to assume that this is a triple threat match with the Cabbage Bear or whatever, the Pokemon and Giant Panda. Oh my god, Mad Balls. I forgot about Mad Balls. さあ続いてきました岡左衛門の入場だ岡左衛門が妙な動きです妙な動きです素晴らしい岡左衛門妙な動きで入ってくる岡左衛門戦えるのか I think Chono is on commentary. I think. Is this a battle royal? <laughs> Sorry, Dave. <laughs> If it makes you feel better, I'm going to have nightmares and、uh, stomach problems. I know Gumby. そしてね、なんか異常事態ですね。あ,あ,あのね、マスククマのね。あ、本当だ。なんかマスマスクのマスクメロンがね。マスクメロン死んじゃった。That cabbage bear looks sick. 水分補給だこれ。あら、大変なお元気事態だ。<笑>マスククマがかなり苦しい状況だってます。<笑> We're laughing, but Muscle Man's probably gonna come out next. Hitting his vape pen. It's gonna come out in a vape cloud like Goldberg. 次は誰でしょうか。次は誰だ。The cabbage bear is eliminated. Oh my God! He's got a nurse. Or no, the nurse is tending to the cabbage bear. Beating the hell out of Albino Gumby. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
あれはもしかしてボクシングおおあ危ないですよ皆さん危ないですよ転んだ転んだ転んだ立ち上がれ立ち上がってチーターチーターおおガーディアでフリーダートウィスト突面かわいそうおおあみんなを煽ってくれてる煽ってくれてる一番おいしいことできますね考えてますねあとはもう、ビスーバー、ストロン。If you're new to the show, when I am avoiding copyrighted music, I hit the Frito twist. My name is Bill. I'm here to say, you're not swinging until you twist your troubles away. Do it like this. The Frito twist. Oh, wow, it's still playing. I thought that cabbage bear was out. He's eating the referee's head. That ref is getting fucked up. Yeah, number one, Junko, I do not think we'll figure out the rules of this match. <laughs> Gonna fly now. That brown thing getting uh, three times its size is a <laughs> quite a moment. <laughs> Yeah, we have uh, the furries and the makeup tutorials ruling the show. It's all furries and makeup tutorials and people mentioning Mr. Beast. Even I mentioned Mr. Beast. Chops to the neck of the great panda. Oh, albino Gumby. Eliminated, I assume. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, deflated. Everybody's getting eliminated under the bottom rope. <laughs> this is insane. Giant panda. Ooh, misses. Gets caught up. Misses with the crossbody. Giant panda. I don't think this is DDT. This is something, something else. Look at the losers in the loser den. Nurse clapping. She's happy. ゆるキャラ大乱闘優勝はアンドザジャイアントパンダでした
I dress a giant panda. Your winner. Did that cat get involved at all? Under the giant panda, There go all the losers. Back to punch holes in the wall. And there's Chono. <laughs> Chono's out there. <laughs> はい。ゆるキャラ大乱闘特別チャンピオンベルトがショーノさんから贈られます。わお。わお。Yeah, I agree. I like when 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 the wrestling legends get involved in this kind of stuff cuz they they like it all. He's wearing it like a wristwatch. Flowers. He's going to eat those flowers. <laughs> Championship wristwatch is pretty dope. <laughs> the panda holds a win over at Sushi Onita, Dr. Liam with the Vex. <laughs> Matsuhiro Cuomo. <laughs> Cuomo, Chono. Cuomo, Chono. Cuomo, Chono. <laughs> the, re the remix. Now that's going to get me. All right. We got another cameo to go. Here is a $5 cameo from Alicia G. $5 cameo from Alicia G. Helping me out with my YouTube. Giving me some motivation. Hey, Scotland. Mr. Green Mist. It's the girl Alicia G. Boom, boom, baby. Boom, Country baby, pop artist, country. social media influencer. All right, I'm here to pep you up, mister, because... You know, I, if I said social media was easy, I'd be lying. And I'm not going to lie to you. It's very hard. And you know what? You just got to make the best out of it. And you can't give up. You got to keep going over and over and posting and posting yes. and posting and posting. You cannot give up. I cannot stress enough how hard it is. If I said it was easy, I would be lying to you. I'm not going to lie to you, my friend. It is Thank hard. You. But you can't give up. Yeah, yeah, hang in there. You just keep going and going and going. You don't, you don't stop. Don't stop. Get it, get it. Boom, boom, baby. Hey, let's go, let's go. Okay. Mrs. Scotland, Mr. Green Mist. Yes. I hear you're an aspiring YouTuber. Boom, boom, baby. I love that. And my best advice is you gotta be consistent. You can't stop. No, how many doors may close. And we'll finally open. It just takes that one video, hit over a million. It will happen. It took me so many videos to to keep going and going, going. And I only actually on YouTube, mm -hmm. only one music video ever hit over a million. My one is so close to a million, but it takes so much content, 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 content. They keep saying content, content. content. And you know, it's a pain in the butt. Not gonna lie. It is. It is. And it was easy. Oh my gosh, there. Oh, 
Long story short is be consistent. Keep posting. Hashtags. Hashtag. Uh, consistent on time. Um, and just keep getting yourself out there. Posting your community to share your videos on all your social media platforms. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, the new X. All that stuff. If you don't share I don't it, X. how are people going to know? Think I don't about do it. X. How are they going to know that Scotland, Mr. Green Mist, is, has new content out if you don't promote it? Think of it that way. True. Uh, every post, new eyes, different day, new people. So keep going and never, ever stop. Never you're stop. You're saying your cousin recently stopped growing after three months. You know, I have highs and lows too. Um, my YouTube is kind of a standstill sometimes. It goes mm. shoots up. I have a new video, music video, and then it kind of goes down, but... Uh, not down, but it's kind of, you know, flat lines. It goes up, you know, flat lines, and it just does it. Uh, YouTube shorts definitely are a help. And um, I hope I made you smile, and I hope I gave you some good advice. But don't ever lose your heart. If this is what you want to do, keep doing you, and never, ever, ever give up. Wishing you peace, love, positivity, and prosperity always Thank in you. Scotland. Yes. You can do, do this, my friend. Just never, ever what? Give up. Give up. You got this. And of course, much love from yours truly, Alicia Gianna, of course. Boom, boom, baby! <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Alicia G. <clears throat> My new catchphrase. Thank you, Owen. Time to make the content. Back to Swerved and their poop mic. And now they're doing this to fans. Yes, this microphone smells like poop. Yeah, where was this? <laughs> San Jose. I've been loving this city. Hey, this. we want yeah, some content. You guys have some amazing restaurants. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. How are you feeling this evening? I'm feeling amazing. Anytime you can pay tribute to the people that have paved the way for you, absolutely. it's it's awesome. This Hall of Fame every year is one of my favorite uh, things that we do. Absolutely. How do you feel? Like, who do you think? That is bad. I'm sorry. That's bad. I'm sorry. What? It's bad. Oh. Miss, what's the problem? Mike feel like yes. I don't know. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Though. <laughs> well, then who did anything? I'm sorry. Can you say it for the That is bullshit. I'm not saying that it's me. I don't know. Definitely, definitely that. I'm so sorry. I'm excited to see this evening. Hi, Mike. Hi, how are you? Does this smell like crap, too? There you go. All right. <clears throat> Another big thing on YouTube uh, is the, the, the um, astrology, the astrology people. And so I've been sitting on this astrology video for a long time, and this features friend of the show, Marcus Nell Jamal Ham. You might know him as Marcus Jordan from the Urban Wrestling Alliance. Here he is in this video, hot guys doing horoscopes. Aries, I see you're feeling restless. You may go in search of excitement, so have that adventure. But domestic issues will raise their head this week. A loved one may need time and attention. Also, an estranged friend may want to reconcile towards the weekend. Just be sure to think carefully before inviting this person back into your life. Remember all that drama? Do you really need that again? I don't think so. Hot guts. See you next time. For all your up-to-date horoscopes, check out glow.com slash hot guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You've got one of these. Okay. Now, a, another popular thing on uh, YouTube are the how-to videos. Very popular. And here's Alex Abrahentes, who is going to teach us how to burn a CD. Take it away, Alex Abrahentes. Oh, wait. I got to do it with this. And maybe it has one of these. That's right, the CD DVD ROM drive. Remember this thing? Maybe you wanna make one of these. It's a CD or DVD, but you've forgotten how to do it, or maybe someone hasn't shown you how. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how easy it is to burn onto a CD or DVD. This is Wrestling With Tech, where I wrestle with tech so that you don't have to.
So I promised you easy and it really couldn't be any easier. The first thing you have to do is make sure that you have a blank CD or DVD. Next thing you do obviously is open up your drive. Then once you do that, you put the disc right in the drive, you push it in, you're gonna hear it start up and then within a couple seconds, you're gonna get a prompt on the screen and then you take it from there. Okay, okay. And here's the prompt. It's asking me two things. I can either use this as a USB flash drive, which means it's gonna become a data disc. And with that data disc, I can import files, photos. I love this um, music. Pretty much using it like a flash drive and store things on. Or I can select to burn a CD DVD, which then allows me to either Coming up, play we got the hot chip challenge music, and one more in cameo. Or and a big if announcement. If I want to uh, burn video, I can set it so that it will work with a DVD player. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to select that I want to use this as a flash drive so that I can transfer some photos onto the disk. It also asks me to name the uh, the data disk, so I can name it whatever I want: Alex's pictures, family Alex's vacation, Alex's pictures, whatever it is. Alex pictures. So now it's formatting my drive, my CD, to uh, to match the data disk, and that'll just take a. My second. computer does so not have a disk it's drive. it's formatting folks. my disk to be a data disk, and all of a sudden I've got this great little window here. Yeah, he's having fun uh, in AEW. I don't. I'm gonna open get up it? my pictures folder because don't this think is where it's entirely necessary, but I'm good going for him. To take this folder that says my pics. I'm gonna drop it in there. And now all of a sudden, I've got that in there. So now that I transferred my pics into the folder, I can decide if I want to transfer more files to it, or I can just very simply take my files and delete it or move it. And this acts as if it was a flash drive, which means that you can delete files and you can add to it. So that's a really nice feature to have. Okay, he so had wrestled in the past. He's CD the hype man for Penta DVD, and Fenix. You put in your blank CD DVD into the ROM drive there, and then within a matter of seconds, you're going to get that prompt again asking whether you want to use it as a USB <laughs> I'll send you the link. It, he does CD other videos. DVD it was either going to be this now, one, or he has a video that's about the same length title, that was how to eject so a USB. <laughs> I was going to play a boat. But I don't have time. I'm already going CD over my time. One more match, folks. But before the match, I gotta eat this hot chip. Now I get this screen again. It's very similar to the screen before, but let me show you why it's different. I'm gonna open up my music file. So I've got a couple songs here. I'm just gonna select. Don't worry. This is almost the sake of making this quick. I'm just gonna select one file for now. That's it. And then I need to go to share, and when I go to share, I hit burn to disk. And what that is going to do is it's going to burn all of the music files that I have onto my CD. And now I have an audio CD that I can play in my car or play uh, in any type of CD player. Just keep in mind that you have to choose whether you want to make this a CD or a DVD. There's two different types of media that you can buy. You can either buy a CD or buy a DVD. So make sure that you're purchasing the correct one mm. for your particular needs. So that's it. Now you have your very own burnt DVD or CD. If this video provided value to you, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if there's something that you want me to make a video on, please leave it in the comment section or message me on social media and I'll do my very best to do so. So until then, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. All right, this was sent in by Dr. Liam. Another cat video. He was mentioned earlier in the chat. And here he is. Ernest the Cat Miller. When we were on, on the uh, 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 Nick Patrick's Day show, when we were discussing the luckiest people in wrestling, this should be one of them. This guy lived next door to Eric Bischoff or whatever. Or he taught at karate, karate to young uh, whatever Bischoff's kid's name is. Jackson Bischoff or whatever.
Cat's mom, you think she's nice? I think she's in that Garrett. <laughs> Garrett. Garrett Bischoff. Karate. A rectangular ring would be interesting. I'm, I'm sure that's happened. One of those weird rings. I bet you he'll tell you how great he is. Total disrespect for professional wrestling. Claims that his way is the best. If it works for him. People sit down and shut up. <laughs> He's having fun. You people out here understand. And I know you know I am the greatest. Listen, I'm undefeated here. I'm undefeated in the karate world. There's not a man in the world who could beat me. Undefeated in the karate world. <laughs> Looks like he's making fun of karate when he did that. I know, hey, I know I hear you people yelling for Jackie Chan. <laughs> what? The fact is, my little eight-year-old son is taller than Jackie Chan. I'll kick his head off. Why is he calling out Jackie Chan? Who knows? Sit down and shut up. You know, if you people don't believe I'm the real deal, just like oh, yeah. invitation to the locker room. Alicia G got into some uh, trouble. And show me, if you don't believe I'm the real deal, I can beat anybody. Right. And if you don't believe it, sit, I tell you what, somebody try me. Anybody try me. We're going to challenge everybody here tonight. Mike, put your coat back on. They're turning up the house lights. Well, someone's come out of the stands. Oh, oh someone fake came fan. Out of the stands walk right into the ring. And Ernest Miller, the cat's on him. And finally, security. Oh, fans should not try this. Oh, he just walked right into a buzzsaw. Fans, don't don't security rush the ring. The boys will beat you. Oh, that was ill advised. He, he, he just walked right, he walked right in the ring. I forgot that James Brown, the actual real deal James Brown, showed up in WCW. That's so perfect. There's not a person here can beat me. Somebody call my mama. I'm finna hurt somebody. And they knows the number. I am the greatest. And you people know it. I am the three-time world karate champion. Fans, please stay in your seats, especially when a man like Ernest Miller's in the ring. You saw what happened. We have more action still to come. <laughs> Look at that group. All right. Now, this is our final makeup tutorial. This was sent in by the Suzanimal, Adam Suzanne, top contributor to the program. Uh, it was originally a 14 minute video. I have sped it up to match the other ones. And uh, this is Aja Kong and Bull Nakano applying each other's makeup. Bull Nakano looks great. This is uh, fairly recent. And the music is by Cool Dude Food, Owen Straw, the man who makes the original music on the program. Attention, Owen Straw. I think Bull Nakano going in the, the WWE Hall of Fame, you know, it's a completely fraudulent Hall of Fame, but it's awesome that she's getting her due and that uh, new fans, young fans, whatever, can uh, look her up, watch her stuff. She's the, one of the best to ever do it. So there's Bull Nakano with Aja Kong face paint. And now... Switching roles. Aja Kong is going to get the Bull Nakano face paint in this, our very last makeup tutorial of the night. Optimized for YouTube. Next up, final cameo, and then I eat this chip, and I'm kind of worried about it, folks. No, I just.
私は細く細く描こうっていうふうに思ってるから、はいはい、細くなっちゃうんだよねあーちゃんのやつはあそうです前面にこうって、うんうん、はい。なんか、お互いに、まあ、お互いを見ながら。そうか。はい、そうか<笑><笑>はい、お互いがこんな感じに。えー、I love that so much. All right, and now, our final cameo, our, the most expensive cameo that I got in this,、uh, you know, I got the most, uh, 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 The cheapest, most affordable influencers to give me advice. And、uh, we've heard from Muscle Man 8562. We've heard from Boozled. We've heard from Alicia G. And now it is our final cameo to pep me up and to help me out. Here's Ranger Chris. Hi, Scott. How are you doing? It's me, Ranger Chris, with the amazing Trixie the Triceratops. How cute is she? Do you know what? Mr. Green Mist, I assume that's your YouTube channel. Now, do not get disheartened when your YouTube、uh, videos drop, because this happens to us all of the time, okay? okay. But the top tip I'm going to give you actually is never give up.、Oh. It's a big tip. Even when you're feeling downhearted, you've got to still create the content.、That's、Otherwise, the then your channel will die. Um, honestly, if you stop creating, we stopped、um, a while ago because、um, I went on holiday and it plummeted. We didn't do any video in for two weeks.、Um, Trixie, okay.、Mm. Now, I'm going to put Trixie down here a minute because I need to see that good girl. No,、um, we want Trixie. But honestly, never give up. That's the top tip. And another huge tip I'm going to give you stick、That's、to、right. your niche. Now, what I mean by niche is your speciality. Follow me. Ours, of course, is dinosaurs. You can see all of my amazing dinosaur things here.、Um, and. What everyone wants, right? The gold play button. I know. And, and I know you want it really bad. But do you know what? Honestly, stick to your niche. Don't give up. Keep creating content. Another tip I'm going to give you actually is don't worry about mistakes. Because mistakes do encourage views sometimes. There's、huh? quite often I put mistakes in my video on purpose. Boozled said the same people thing. People to comment. So think of things you can do to engage your audience a little bit more. So maybe ask questions. So they answer and then do replies to the answers. There's so much you can do. Do you know what? I need to do, listen to my own tips sometimes. But honestly, just never give up. Stick to your niche. Keep creating content, mate.、Um, and do you know what? I'm going to check you out right now and I'm going to subscribe to you. So、Whoa. do you know what, Scott? Lovely、um, to, to see you. And I hope you've learned a little bit about you know, becoming a YouTuber. So stick with it, mate. Thank you, Ranger Chris. My most expensive cameo, six dollars. Ranger Chris, pleasant fella.、Um, all right, I'm going to. I have to get a little bit of milk for this.、Uh, I have to. We don't have a lot of milk in the apartment, and I got to save some for Sarah's tea tomorrow. So、uh, I'm only going to have a little bit of milk. Hopefully, I don't die.、Um, I will be right back.、Uh, give me 30 seconds. I'll be right back. What does everybody want? All right, all right. I'm back. Back. I have the main event ready to go.、Uh, oh, I don't have gloves. Ooh, jeez.、Uh, eesh. Okay. I do have a little bit of milk. This is all the milk in the house. I'm in trouble. I also have this giant thing of water. And、um, yeah, there you go. <clears throat> Now. Yeah, let me get tongs. That's a good idea.、Um, I did have an announcement to make. I was truly inspired by the、uh, by all these cameos. I was inspired, and I have an announcement. I am on cameo now. I have been inspired. I am on cameo. Find me on Cameo, Scotland Green. I, it's in my link tree right now. I am on Cameo. I will tell you happy birthday. I will sing happy birthday. I'll give you motivation and a half hearted pep talk. And I will give you a personal ring announcement if you give me the information. Find me on Cameo. If they can do it, I can do it. That's, that was my.、Uh, Thinking on that, I will sing the Frito Twist.、Um, and that reminds me, 
I've been driving a lot recently, and I, I have this bit that I came up with. I, I Maybe I'll do it on the show, but for now, it's just something I do for myself. I, 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 I did a bit where I sang the Frito Twist in the voice of Death Cab for Cutie's Ben Gibbard. And I did a Ben Gibbard impression pretty good. I, I'm not too confident to do it right now, but it was uh, wild. And it's funny, and one day I'll do it. Um, let's get the song back up for this. The the cool dude food song. I guess I should get tongs. I will be right back. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, I'll be right back. here we go um so i was going to originally do this during the main event but the main event will follow this i might not be there i might just have the main event playing my mouth might be on fire or whatever and i want to take away from the main event so valhalla combat club gave me a great idea to uh after i eat this chip to try and name as many nwo members as i can now chat I don't want you to help me. No spoilers, no help. When I'm, uh, I, 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 when I name one, you can type that name, but don't, don't ruin it. Don't, don't. Uh, let me, let me figure this out as I'm dying. All right, so here we go. Unboxing time. The final unboxing. Rip it open like a freaking animal. All right. Here it is. Oh, they give you a glove. Oh my god. Oh no. This is this is kind of scary. This is scary. And I'll tell you this, when I was googling hot chip, one of the uh one of the auto completes was hot chip death. I don't want to die. I also don't want the cats to touch this garbage. All right. Man, it's hard to get this glove on. Jesus Christ. Selling one chip. What a racket. All right, here we go. Cat, go away. Cat! Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Cat, come here. Go get it. Get out of here. Get out of here. This is hot. Whew. Okay. Hot Chip Death is a good episode title. I think it will be. I think it's going to be like, it's going to have a question in it. I meant to play a video on pick, on doing a title, but they're all, they're all too long. So, all right. Time is running out. Let's do it. This fucking bag's breaking. All right. Not that Tom Green says R.I.P. If I die, I'm leaving this show to Noli. This oh, the chip broke. God damn it! Get away, cat. All right. All right. The chip has broke. I'm gonna put put the whole thing in my mouth. Oh God. Oh, this doesn't even smell like food. Yeah, that the 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 the, the it coming out is the part that worries me. Like, to be quite honest, and I don't want to get gross, but uh, that's the scariest part. That's the scariest part. I, I might have to uh, be in bed tomorrow. All right. Friends. Pals. Please uh, spread the word on the pro wrestling potluck. <laughs> please spread the word. All right. The hot chip. Oh. oh oh it's coming out of my nose 
Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Hollywood Hogan. Kevin Nash. Scott Hall. Six Pac. Kurt Hennig. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Uh, Chono. Ugh. Uh, Great Muda. Scott Norton. Ugh. Buff Bagwell. Oh. The Giant. <sighs> oh. Oh my God. <sighs> it's not stopping. Oh fuck. Uh. Oh my God. Uh. It burns. Somebody call Muscle Man. Ah. Uh. <sighs> Uh, who's left? Uh, Vincent. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Ted DiBiase. Fake Sting. Dusty Rhodes. Eric Bischoff. Let's go to the main event. Huh. Let's go to the main event. I'll be right back. In the future, everything will be simple. With just a look and a thought, anything can be yours. Looking further. Deeper. Longer. Into the buzz. It's a main event of our show tonight. Julia. Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh. I think I'm going to drink some coffee creamer. I'll be right back. ジュリアの中野タムからのラブコール。もちろん
行われませんでした一発勝負となる魂と魂感情と感情のぶつかり合いですさあ相手が姿を現しますコムバックコムバックエブリバディアムアライブ唯一無二のライバル感情をむき出しにし本気になって殴り合える相手 So this is our main event of the evening ジュリアにとって私以上のライバルは今後現れないと中野タムは言い切っていますそして同時に私以上のライバルなんて絶対にその存在を許さないとも言っていますさあこの一戦で一生ジュリアは中野タムという存在を引きずり抜け出ることができない一生払えない Oh my god. I might have to go blow my nose again. It's not stopping. So, the battle is not stopping. So, the battle is not stopping. この名古屋国際会場イベントホールに自身の可愛さを振りまきます。中野タムさあ、大江さん、はい、どんな戦いになるでしょうかね。あのー、いろんな絶戦がね、あのー、ぴったりの間でありました。まあ、タム選手の思いが強かったですけれども、でも結局は。やめるのをやめろっていう言葉まで出たところなんですね。だからまだまだタムはこの戦いのステージを続けていきたいんじゃないですかね。Right. 本当は。Starting to get まあ、get my uh... チャンスの思いというものも大きいでしょうけども。中野タムの場合はやはりこのジュリアの思いです。これが色濃く出てきます。Oh, my nose burns. My mouth burns. When I was crying, the tears were burning my face. Oh, my stomach. My stomach don't feel good. Oh, my God, I feel bad. Now, these two are rivals. Big time rivals. Yokindo, thank you. Oh, I feel like I have a, a hot coal in my gut. Yeah, I think I might need to go get milk after. Oh, God, yeah. I don't think I could uh, move. I don't think I could leave. I'm gonna not be good after this. ということですね。ということ戦いを続けていく中でね、この二人もね、最初からこういう関係だったんだわけじゃないですからね。あのレノ。ああ、仕事。だがこれはロープを挟んでの行為、レフリーのチェックが入ります。それでも近づきジュリ
実に後頭部、落ち着けましたね。いやおい名古屋見とけよー一気にスロットルを上げていきましたちょっと中野タブの状態が心配ですねちょうどこの後頭部エンズイのあたりをエプロンの角に立たせられました動けるか中野タブ構わずジュリアがミサイルキックこれも吹っ飛ばされた容赦のない容赦のない攻撃そして首狙いは変わらず足を固めてフェイスロックに持っていくか腕を取っていくここからビアンカか必死に抗う中のためですああ死亡していきますあのエプロンの攻撃で一気に流れが変わりましたね、はい、八尾さん本当にね、はいまあ、まだはっきりとしたその形というか情報とはなってないんですが、はいまあ、ジュリアの対談というものが決定的であろうという見方もありますよね,そう,ですね、まあ、そういう中での今まあ,あの感情であったりだとか今日実現したこのシングルマッチ15分一本勝負でもあると思うんですけれどもただそのやっぱり序盤ゴングが鳴った瞬間からあの1分以上におけるあの張り手の打ち合いからキャンパスからの。もう序盤から遠慮が全くないですよね、ただそれはお互いが本当に一区切りの戦いであるというのを意識した攻撃なのかというところは少し感じますね。その試合の中での信頼関係というものもあるんでしょうけどね。Well, hopefully the 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 idiot eating a hot chip and naming as many NWO people as possible becomes a great a great video. It will be hilarious if it gets a forty five likes. I mean forty five views. そしてその後2021年3月3日の日本武道館でした。チャンピオンジュリアに対して、チャレンジしてその時は中野玉が勝利しています。それを未来選手がご覧になったわけですよね。はい。スコロスコアで。そして、You are a genius. I'm gonna pop my phone. 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 I'm gonna pop
互いのことは嫌というほど知り尽くしています最後の2人のシングルマッチは2023年 4.23 横浜アリーナの赤いベルト戦その時は中野タムが勝利して赤いベルトを腰に巻いていますそれ以来の本当に大江さん、はい、大一番での2人の激突というところになりますよねそうですねそういうことですね中野タムはその後欠場しちゃいましたもんね、はい、そういうことですね、まあ、欠場しましたしあのー、いろんな意味でねあのー、少し休まなきゃいけない時期でもあったと思うんですけどねやっぱりこうやって張り合えるというのもやっぱりそのあの本人たちが言ったように唯一無二の関係というのはこういうところから分かりますねだから心底平いで心底憎いんだけどという気持ちが、はい、そうですね中野タムとジュリアの間にはありますスタンプのねヘイドジュリアここまでの極限の究極な戦いなんでしょうねドロップキックコーナートップにいる中野タムの顔面に打っていきましたさあこの体勢ダブルアームだこれはジュリアの得意技捨て身の技でもありますそれを打たせない中野タムガツッというヘッドバッチこのまま当てて、パルコンワロー、ファルコンワロー、タム、キャンプ、ブリッジ、ブリッジ、ブリッジ、ブリッジ、ブリッジ、ブリッジ、ブリッジ、ブリッジ、ブリッジ、ブリ My tongue still burns. Ooh, dodges the kick.それがお互いの肉体に刻みつけられています。
Like a brain buster, Falcon Arrow. One count, no sell. Ooh, that knee delivered. Two holds on to the rope. She's still with it. Even with the cartoon knot on her head. これ that's it. Oh, cocky, cocky from Julia doing one of these. あの、ジュリアが持ち上げなければ3カウント入れるの止めさせてこれはリストクラッチ。Now did Marty Janetti eat a chip on his thing? Oh, he did not. Probably had just as many tears, though. Just as many tears and snot. Tamp! Oh, God! Referee checking on Julia. So this man, Nakano Tommy, I want to see Muscle Man 8562 eat a hot chip. Oh my god. Two. Nande, Twilight of Dream, the two, the Kaiser. Who she can go to Mosse? Naraba, Tamu, Violet Top. Nope. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Pam. Not gonna hold her up. Ooh. Falcon arrow. Two. God. This is our main event tonight. A draw! A draw! In our main event, a time limit draw! Attacking the ref, he's just trying to do his job, ladies. Wow. Equally matched. The rivalry continues. Are they both leaving? <laughs> Sudden death one chip challenge. That would be a good match. Like something on a goofy show, like a Janela spring break or something. Both people eat a hot chip and then have to work. Oh my god, somebody would shit. Somebody would shit. All right, there we go. Wow, what a show. A memorable show. Uh, I'm going to edit this up. It's going to be on YouTube soon. I don't know, not 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 very soon because I have to do work. Uh, but great one. Thanks, everybody, for sending in submissions and positive feelings. Uh, thanks to all the cameos that came in. Muscleman8562, Alicia G, Boozled, Ranger Chris. Appreciate the uh, the motivation from them. Uh, find me on Cameo. That's right. I learned from those four and decided to get on Cameo myself. So check me out on Cameo. Uh, I'll do whatever you want. I'll also give you a personal ring announcement. I'll put on a track jacket and, and do the damn thing. So uh, this was a fun one. 
and uh, I hope I'm gonna be okay. Uh, thank you, everybody. Um, I did three gimmick episodes in a row. I have no idea what I'm gonna do next week, which is a good feeling. Uh, this Sunday, uh, follow me on Instagram if you're not already, because I might be doing, I'm checking my schedule and everything, but I might do a buzz basket on Sunday night. I got a lot of buzz. ATL Blood Feast, my buzz plug has hooked me up. And uh, we're, you know, we're backed up on buzz. I did all these gimmick shows and there's, uh, you know, no room for buzz. So now we got a buzz. And now I got a buzz. I got a buzz off to the bathroom. This has been a fantastic show. Good one. Uh, the Pokemon story is going to stick with me forever and ever. I'm so glad. I, those, I was most excited all week to just tell people that Pokemon guy story. It was my favorite. So that's that. Uh, thanks for sticking with the show. And I appreciate everyone. I hope everyone has a good night.